measures we are using usually. Okay, so we look at, uh, we are going to do your chapter 7, exercise 3, page 101 until 112. And for project, you need to complete chapter 6, page 193. Okay, uh, I think you have really learned uh, earlier on, okay, in your, maybe your form. Form 2 and Form 1, okay, on how to draw histogram and frequency polygon, okay. Histogram, graphical representation in which the data is grouped into ranges by using continuous bars. The height of the bar in histogram represents the frequency of a class, okay. The meaning is, okay is the bar this histogram okay, okay. Uh, represent the height of the bar represent by this frequency okay uh, so this histogram this is not histogram huh? this pictogram okay so there's a difference huh? Okay, so this is not histogram. So for histogram, you can either use the midpoint over here or lower and upper boundary over here. Okay, that is for histogram. For pre frequency polygon, a graph that display a group data by using straight lines that connect midpoint of the classes which lie at the upper end of each bar in the histogram. Okay, that means uh, midpoint. Eh? Usually the histogram don't touch the vertical axis. Okay, doesn't touch. Eh? Uh, why it doesn't touch? If let's say they ask you to draw a frequency polygon on the histogram, you can't draw it up uh, after this, this vertical line. Okay, because the frequency polygon must always start and ends on uh, horizontal axis. So you must be a straight line. You must use a ruler. Everything when you draw, you must use pencil here. So this one must be midpoint. It's not all using point. Okay, you want to draw on a histogram, always midpoint. Okay. using strip lines okay okay so we proceed with example three the frequency table shows the speed of graph Okay, in kilometer per hour, recorded by a speed trap camera along a highway in a certain duration. Represent the data with histogram and frequency polygon by using the scale of 2 cm to 10 km per hour on the horizontal axis and 2 cm to 10 cars on the vertical axis. Okay, so given this one, usually we need to draw our own frequency table. Okay. Frequency table, usually we need to have class interval, frequency, and also midpoint, okay? Lower and upper boundary is not necessary, okay? That is for frequency table to draw histogram or frequency polygon. So write down this one, the whole thing, the class interval, okay? Then the frequency, write down, okay? 5, 10, 20, 30, 25, 10, then midpoint. You still remember how to find the midpoint? It means the lower and the upper limit 
add up together, divide by 2, you get 74.5. Add up divided by 2, you get 84.5. If this is neither 74.5, this one is 84.5, the rest will be 94.5. 104.5, 114.5, and 124.5. These three very important. Okay. Uh, this one given from Tesco, so they add up, add in uh, lower boundary, upper boundary also can to draw histogram. Okay. Uh, for frequency polygon, you cannot use this one. Huh? So it's not necessary to use this one. So lower boundary, uh, if upper boundary over here is between 79 and 80, 79.5, 79 plus 80, divided by 2, you get 79.5. So here will be 89.5. 99.5. 109.5. 109.5. So the lower boundary over here will be 79.5, 89.5, 99.5, 109 okay, 109.5. So, okay. Is 109.5, so 109.5. So before 70 will be 69.5. This one is after 129 will be 129.5. Okay, this is how you look at it. Huh? So after that, you need to draw the uh, frequency, uh, the histogram and frequency polygon. Okay, because you didn't say. Uh, represent the data in histogram and frequency polygon. You can draw uh, on the same graph. Okay, they don't ask you to draw separately. Okay, usually when they ask you to draw to both together in one question, you usually draw on the same graph. Only one graph is going to be provided, uh, so you know which one how many to draw. Okay, so this one is a uh, speed of cars. Okay, for the horizontal uh, vertical axis and okay you can write uh number of cars you can okay this is number of cars not speed of cars uh. okay this one no need to write uh. no need to write not important this is number of cars okay follow the frequency number of cars okay so we look at histogram uh, okay so this is for speed okay or use midpoint also can. Okay, they draw this one so that you know uh, how to differentiate for uh, histogram, how to draw the histogram using the word upper boundary. 69.5 to 79.5, so the frequency is 5. Okay, so before that, you need to look at the scale. Horizontal is uh, 2 cm to 10. Okay. So between here, 2 cm, using uh, your ruler to measure 2 cm is one big box, is 10. So between 69.5 and 79.5 is 10. Okay, so this is 10, 10, 10, 10. So we start off with 69.5, ends at 129.5. So for vertical axis is 2 cm to 10 cars. So 2 cm, you can measure using a uh, ruler. Okay, or one big box is 10, 20, 30, because maximum is 30. Okay, so if you are, do want to use a uh, lower upper boundary, you can straight away use uh, midpoint, 74.5. Make sure it's in the middle uh, of the histogram. If you're using midpoint, you don't put it at the side. Okay, 60, uh, 74.5, 4.5, until 124.5. Okay, then from here, okay, uh, you can draw from here or here also can. Okay, yeah, just don't touch the vertical axis. So from here, uh, 5, so 5, 10, 20, 30, 25, and 10. Okay, if you want to add up, the add in the uh, frequency polygon, okay. That means uh, five is over here, so the midpoint is seventy four point five over here. So ten eighty four point five ten eighty four point five twenty is for twenty four point five twenty eighty four point five thirty is for hundred and four point five thirty hundred and fourteen point five. 
25 and 104.5 10. Then the frequency polygon must always touch at the horizontal axis. So it's another midpoint. So it is 74.5, here will be 64.5. Uh, must write actually, must write this one. So better to write the midpoint than upper or lower boundary when involved frequency polygon. So here also same, you must write 134.5. Okay. So we look at example four. The frequency table shows the time in second recorded by 20 participants. So total number of participants is 20. Okay. Uh, participants in the qualifying round of a swimming competition represent the data with a frequency polygon by using 2 cm to 5 seconds on the horizontal axis and 2 cm to 2 participants on the vertical axis. So you need to uh, draw the frequency table. Okay. The class interval, time recorded, second, number of participants, write down again, okay, and then midpoint. As I mentioned, these three more important to complete the frequency table. Okay, uh, so uh, time recorded here, 50 to 54. Okay, I start out with 50 to 54 until 70 to 74. Okay, from here until here, you see, is given. Okay, then start with two, three, six, five, four. Okay, this is all given. Okay, so because frequency polygon, you need to start uh, uh, at horizontal axis. Okay, so the frequency will be start at zero and ends at zero. Okay, if you don't write this one, also never mind. Okay, you won't be penalized. So here, to find the midpoint of this one will be 50 plus 54 divided by 2, you give it 2. 55 plus 59 divided by 2, okay, 57. Then you can see the sequence 60 to 64, so plus 2, 67, 72, and so on. Huh? So you can start with number of participants for the frequency. This is not important, okay. So here you can write time recorded, okay, in second. So we start off with uh, x, 2 cm to 5 second, okay, so 2 cm, one big box, 5 second, okay, 5 second that means uh, 45 to 49 is 5 second, okay, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 5 second, okay, so we can start from here also no, no problem you can start from here no problem no need to draw special line or uh, this kind of line is not important okay so from here 47 okay uh okay we start with this one 52 until 72 okay you start with 52 until 72 because you need to uh, touch the horizontal axis okay so we if this 52 57 the previous one will be 47 Okay, you see the sequence, and it is 67, 62, 67, 72, so here will be 77. Okay, so uh, follow 52, 2, 52. Uh, for that, you need to have the skill for a particular axis, 2 cm to 2 participant. So one big box, 2 cm, 2 for 6, because must mean 6. So here will become uh, 2 for 2, 2, 57 is 3. So three, this is two is two six, this is two six, C seven is five, five, this then two is four. Okay, so draw using pencil and ruler. Okay, it must be straight line. Okay.
chance to do. Shall we? There is going to be a skit performance, and we need a narrator. Who would like to do it? Thank you. 